The new Science Live dashboard is written in HTML5. That means that it's fully responsive um, and can be displayed on a tablet or mobile. So there's no need for a flash enabled device like your laptop or PC to view the status of your network quickly and easily. So the dashboard is split into two sections. You've got the KPI section across the top and then the list of players underneath. KPI section shows you four different KPIs and you've got one about the license status of your players. So you've got active and licensed those have been deactivated and those where the licenses have expired. You've got the number of players that have connected and the number of players that haven't, the number of players that have got their latest content, the number that are waiting to get their next con the next content, and the number um, that can't report their status to us. That's generally just in-store screens. Um, we've also got the renewals so how many have got renewal during the next seven days next 30 days and next 60 days it's possible for you on a network by network basis to configure the two middle kpis the players that have connected and players with their latest content to decide when they should be in a warning or alerting state and you can do this by clicking on the cog and if we change for example this one to warn when we're at 40 percent this one to warn when we're at 30 and alert when we're at 40 percent we'll just save that go back to the dashboard give it a quick refresh and we can see now that we've got warnings and alerts showing for those two kpis so each of these kpis allows us to filter the data that's shown in the table of players um, and we can do that just by clicking on some of the links. So we're now showing the number of the, all the deactivated players. Um, we can see the players that haven't connected. And we can see the players that are pending content. We can also search that list of players at the bottom. Um, and that's done from the top box here. It, the search uses the current filter and it searches on the player column. So you've got serial number and all of the address data for that player. So if we do 24472 for example, and press enter, filters and you can see that we get just that filter, that um, player. If we take that back out, we get all of the players that are in that filter again. So go back to the active and licensed players. So what we've also got in the player table is some additional KPIs. So when was the last reboot? Does a player have its latest content? Um, when was the last content check, health check, what percentage of CPU, memory and disk space is being used, what's the temperature and when's the renewal due. If a player can't report um, any of these then generally that will show as a zero um, or as a dash. What we can do as well is to get a little bit more information about these players we can click on one of the player records that brings up a little pop-up you can see we'll get told the player type and we get to hold the version um, of the client that's running as well. You can also get to the player manager and the full player record by using the little icon at the end. We can also filter this table again by further statuses and there whether they've got no warnings or alerts, warnings only and alerts only. So if we go to no warnings or alerts we can see that we get the players up that have only that haven't got any warnings or alerts. We can also change the layout of the table slightly from compact view to a comfortable view. What we're getting there is just some more graphical representations of these KPIs and these would change colour as they went into warning or alert statuses.